ever wondered how some audio files have an image thumbnail instead of this regular one? Well, today I'll show you how to add an image to an audio file. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Unit Converter and thanks for tuning in. An image thumbnail can say additional information about a music track or give more brand presence to the artist. It doesn't matter if we're talking about a podcast, a playlist, a music album, or a single audio track, having a photo edit to the audio file is really useful. Let's elaborate on the usefulness of an image that's added to the audio files. If you create a playlist for yourself or for your friends or family that you also name, giving it a cover image is not only fun, but can say more about the playlist itself than the title. An image can portray the mood of the playlist, the length of it. It can also feature the artwork of someone and all in all, it will make the playlist look more thought out and professional. On the image thumbnail of a podcast, you can feature the number of the episode, the people that the podcast features, and even some clickbait about a juicy topic that the show covers. But when it comes to music tracks, an album cover is one thing. It's what will represent the whole style and mood of the music featured in the album. In most cases, the album cover is what's going to be the image thumbnail added to the individual audio files as well. But if you make a single music piece, you can also create a cover for the music track alone, which then you can add to the audio file. So long story short, adding a photo to an audio file is more useful than you think. So let's dive right into the practical side of the matter. The tool we're gonna use is the Wondershare Unit Converter 15. So if you don't have it yet, make sure that you download it and try it out. It has many amazing features that can make your life much easier. So once you have the Unit Converter open, go to the tools menu on the left side of the interface and click on the Fix Media Metadata tool. Import the audio file you will want to edit the image to. This tool can also work with other kinds of media files, but we will focus on audio files now. First of all, let's add the image and then we'll take a look at all these other metadata that you can set up here. Click here and choose an image you'd like to add to this mp3 file. As you can see, it has imported the file. Now the other metadata you can set up here is obviously the title, the type of media, the language of it. Then moving downwards, you can set up album and artist details. In the bottom right corner, you can choose the genre, release date, rate the track and set up bitrate information. And when you're done with everything, click on save. Now, if you go back to your audio file here, you'll be able to see that the image had been added to it. And then if you right click on it and then click on get info, you'll see all the other metadata you had set up for it. Now you also have the option to add a cover image to an mp3 file and then convert it into mp4. So the video will have the cover image as visuals and the mp3 file as the audio. To do this, go to the converter tool of the Unit Converter 15 and import your mp3 file. Select the output format to be mp4. You can leave it as same as source. As always, you have the option to edit the file in terms of trimming and setting up audio attributes. But to add the cover image, what you'll have to do is clicking on this little icon here where you can add the cover image to the audio file. And once you have done that, you'll see that the image now is also the thumbnail of the audio file. And finally, after choosing an output folder, click on Start All. When the process is finished, you'll have your image added to your mp3 file and convert it into mp4. And that's it. It's super easy. Anyone can do it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.